Hi church family, Pastor Joel here with Judah. And we're just going to share a little devotional thought from the book of Ephesians. Uh, as we've just been studying, uh, Pastor Morrow was preaching on the armor of God. We just wanted to pull out this one verse just for a, a moment of meditation today. Verse 13 of Ephesians chapter 6, it says this, Therefore, put on the full armor of God. Now, as, as a review, I encourage you to go through chapter 6. This is a great prayer exercise to go through the armor of God and just physically talk about putting it on yourself as we're talking about the, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Put on this armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. I, I want to just talk about the idea of standing. It, it seems kind of boring, uh, to be honest. Uh, isn't it we should, we should have the armor of God so that we can sprint, run in, and bring victory to the army, that we should be doing all these things, but it says to stand. It kind of brings on this picture of inactivity, but uh, I think that's a little bit misleading. When we say to stand, it means you're standing for and standing against something. I remember when I was uh, around 10, 11 years old, I went to a summer camp, and there was a, a river that went through where we would go swimming. And I remember one time it was it had a, a in the one part of, of the river it actually had a really strong current, and I wasn't a very strong swimmer. And I was trying to go across, and I could barely touch the bottom. Of the river and somehow my foot got caught uh, underneath uh, in between some rocks and some um, some roots from trees and I got caught in this current where the the water was pretty much up to where my head was and the current itself kept pulling me under to the point where I had to get someone to help me to rescue me to get me out of the water I couldn't keep my head up because I was standing against this strong current uh, when you think of this some of you may feel like I'm just standing today I'm not doing anything. To stand, it, it, it means you're probably tired and you're wondering why. There is a spiritual battle that is going on that you may not visibly see that is very active around you. And we need the armor of God, not just to be able to run, but to be able to, as we've been asked and commanded to, to stand, to stand firm in what God has called us to be and to do. Think of it like this, your life today, you, Think of it like a, a tree that's in the middle of a, of a strong current of a river where the roots are underneath the ground and it's standing and it, the, the, the current in the water is pushing around it, but that tree is actually having to push against the current. See, when you push against something, you kind of have to fight back. Push me back, man. Push back towards death. Push me out. And you have to fight back to push against it. And, and for some of you today, maybe, maybe there's fear, there's anxiety, there's worry. Maybe there's temptation and sin. Uh, some of you, the fact of being in your house has made things even more difficult with the temptations that you struggle with. That you're in your battle, you need that armor of God, not to, to run and to run rampant, but God's called you to be steady, to be firm, and to stand, to stand against what the enemy's doing. Praying for you today, that you would have the strength to stand, that you would be fully armed with the armor of God to be able to do so. Love you, church family. We'll talk to you soon. Say goodbye, everybody.